Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to use selective precipitation to separate a mixture of ions in a given solution. We will solve a series of problems to understand what selective precipitation is and how we can use it to separate a mixture of ions. Let us suppose we have a solution containing 0.1 molar silver plus ions and 0.1 molar Mg2 plus ions. The goal is to separate these two ions. Let's say we slowly start to add sodium carbonate solution to this. Sodium carbonate is a soluble salt, so it is essentially a mixture of Na plus and CO3 2 minus ions, that is carbonate ions. The carbonate ion added to this solution can react with Ag plus and Mg plus 2 to form respective carbonates that is silver carbonate and magnesium carbonate. The KSP value of silver carbonate is 6.2 times 10 to the negative 12 and magnesium carbonate is 4.0 times 10 to the negative 5. Remember that the KSP value tells us the maximum amount of cation and anion concentrations that can coexist without precipitation. Now, if this value is large, that means more amount of cations and anions can coexist in a solution without precipitating. In other words, it is a more soluble salt. Similarly, if the KSP value is small, that means a very small amount of cations and anions can coexist without precipitating. In other words, we are talking about a less soluble salt. Between silver carbonate and magnesium carbonate, silver carbonate seems to be a less soluble salt. Now, let us answer some questions in the next slide. So here are the questions. You start to add carbonate ion to the solution. Which compound do you expect to precipitate first? Silver carbonate or magnesium carbonate? Pause the video here and try to answer the question. The answer is the salt with lower KSP value, that is the least soluble salt, will precipitate first. In this case, it is silver carbonate. Second question. At what concentration of carbonate will the first compound precipitate? We already found out that the first compound that is being precipitated is silver carbonate. We know that the silver carbonate precipitation starts when the Q value is equal to the KSP. That is, concentration of Ag plus squared times the concentration of carbonate ion should be equal to 6.2 times 10 to the negative 12. We already know the concentration of Ag plus ion in the solution. So we can calculate the concentration of carbonate ion. It comes out to be 6.2 times 10 to the negative 10 molar. That is, as you add carbonate ion, as soon as the concentration of the carbonate ion in the solution reaches 6.2 times 10 to the negative 10 molar, the silver carbonate starts to precipitate. Third problem. At what concentration of carbonate will the second compound precipitate? The second compound that precipitates is the one with the larger KSP value, that is, the more soluble one. In this case, it is magnesium carbonate. We can do a similar kind of calculation as the last problem. We know that the magnesium carbonate precipitation starts when the Q value is equal to KSP, that is, concentration of magnesium 
times the concentration of carbonate ion is equal to 4.0 times 10 to the negative 5. We already know the concentration of magnesium plus 2 ion in the solution. So we can calculate the concentration of carbonate ion. It comes out to be 4 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. As soon as the concentration of carbonate ion in the solution reaches 4 times 10 to the negative 4 molar, the silver carbonate starts to precipitate. Fourth question. How much silver is still in the solution when the magnesium begins to precipitate? From the previous problem, we know that magnesium starts to precipitate when the concentration of carbonate in the solution reaches 4 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. We know that the maximum amount of cation and anion concentrations that can coexist in a solution is equal to the Ksp value. For the silver carbonate, it is the concentration of Ag plus squared times the concentration of carbonate ion is equal to 6.2 times 10 to the negative 12. That is, this is the maximum amount of Ag plus and CO3 minus that can coexist in the solution. Now, the question is, when carbonate concentration is 4 times 10 to the negative 4, what is the concentration of Ag plus? Plugging in the value and solving for it, we get the concentration of Ag plus is equal to 1.24 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. That is, when the carbonate ion concentration is 4 times 10 to the negative 4 molar, the maximum amount of Ag plus that can exist in the solution is 1.24 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. At the beginning, we started with 0.1 molar silver plus ions in the solution. If we calculate the percentage of silver plus ion left over in the solution, it comes out to be 1.24 times 10 to the negative 4 molar divided by 0.1 molar times 100. It is 0.12%. That is, around 99.88% of silver plus is precipitated as silver carbonate before the magnesium carbonate starts to precipitate. What we generally do in the lab is stop adding carbonate ion just before the magnesium carbonate starts to precipitate. That means majority of the silver carbonate is already precipitated and no magnesium carbonate started to precipitate. So you can filter out AgCO3. Therefore, you have separated Ag plus from the Mg plus 2 ions. In summary, we can use selective precipitation to separate a mixture of ions in a given solution. A precipitating ion such as carbonate ion is added to the solution. At first, the less soluble salt, that is silver carbonate, begins to precipitate. We continue to add carbonate ion until the QSP of the more soluble salt that is magnesium carbonate is equal to its Ksp. The less soluble salt that is silver carbonate will precipitate in as large quantity as possible, leaving behind the ion of more soluble compound.